So we're here at the example table, and in this video, we're going to find inverse functions. So remember, this is a three-step process. Step one is we start with y equals f of x, where f is the function whose inverse we want to find. Step two, we interchange x and y. So we write x equals f of y. And now in step three, we're going to solve for y in terms of x. So solve for y in terms of x. So for example, let's start with one of the simplest types of functions, namely a linear function. So let's let f of x be 8x plus 5. So we start by writing y equals 8x plus 5. We switch the place of y and x, so we get x equals 8y plus 5. And now we're going to solve for y. So if we move the 5 over to the side with x, we get 8y equals x minus 5. Divide both sides by 8. We get y equals x minus 5 all over 8. And this is f inverse of x. Let's look at one more example. something a bit more complicated, f of x equals x cubed minus 4. Well, we go through the same process. We're going to write y equals x cubed minus 4. Switch the places of x and y, so we get x equals y cubed minus 4. And then again, solve for y. So we'll move the 4 over to the side with x, so we get y cubed equals x plus 4. And then we'll take the cube root of both sides to leave just a y on the left-hand side. And we get y equals x plus 4 to the 1 -third. And this is f inverse of x. Now let's do an example with a rational function. So let's let f of x be x plus 5 over x minus 3. So we start with y equals x plus 5 over x minus 3. Switch the places of x and y, we get x equals y plus 5 over y minus 3. Now we have to solve for y in terms of x. It's a little bit more complicated in this example, but it's the same process. So the first thing we should do here is get this y minus 3 out of the denominator. So we'll multiply both sides by y minus 3. On the left-hand side, we end up with x times the quantity y minus 3 equals y plus 5. Let's distribute out this left-hand side. We'll get xy minus 3x equals y plus 5. So now we want to get all the terms with y's in them over to one side, all the terms without y's in them over to the other side. So we have an xy over here. Let's move this y to the left, and we'll move this minus 3x to the right. So we get xy minus y equals 3x plus 5. So now, since every term on the left has a y in it, we can factor out a y, and we get y times the quantity x minus 1 equals 3x plus 5. And now if we divide both sides by x minus 1, we get y equals 3x plus 5 
over x minus 1. And this is f inverse of x. And if you want, you can verify this. You can plug something in to this formula, get an output, plug it into this formula, you should get back where you started. And vice versa, plug something into this, plug that output into this, you should get back where you started. And that's how you find the inverse of a function.